All right, guys, welcome back to another case opening. I actually asked you guys to vote on the poll a probably about a week ago for which cases you want to see me open. And by the title and what you can see here, the Dreams and Nightmares case won by quite a big margin. So we're going to open a hundred of these today to see what we can get. And uh, we're just going to get straight into it. We're going to start opening right now. Obviously, the goal here would be getting a Gamma Doppler uh, Butterfly Knife in Emerald. That would be the absolute insane pull. Uh, the more realistic would be if we do get a gold, um, probably a Falchion or a Butterfly Knife is going to be the best options, uh, and you can still get really good returns there. Um, Dreams and Nightmares cases, I think, at the time, were about 71 pins per case. Uh, they're one of the cheaper cases in the game, and I think as we go through, you might see why, because the, the blue drop weight seems to be quite large in them to say the least so if you do enjoy this video and you do enjoy the case opens please make sure you hit that like button it's greatly appreciated oh was that a rare pattern with a little green guy in it i don't know but we'll keep it going make sure you hit that like button and then make sure you leave a comment down below of any cases you'd like to see me open in the future within reason i know some people are going to say bravo cases and i'd rather not absolutely destroy the bank account with those now i actually hit my first ever gold in game on a dreams and nightmares cases uh aj was in uh, on the live stream i asked the chat like what case should we open live aj came in and said like open three dreams and nightmares cases i guarantee you get a gold and we hit the first ever gold but it was probably one of the worst ones we could get because it was a felsian black lamb in battle scars so it was still about 100 pounds still great first or uh, sorry it was my second gold my first knife gold I, I hit a pair of gloves before that uh, in a video but that was my first time getting a knife so it'd be really really nice to hit my second knife in cs on the exact same case but hopefully a much better one than the felsian black laminate especially in battle scarred as you can see so far though uh we've got one purple and the rest are all blues it's gonna be really interesting actually to count what we got at the end of this like how many purples how many pinks if we get any golds at all uh because i would be i wouldn't be surprised if we go through all this and we end up with maybe 85 blues out of the 100 just with my experience with the drop weight so we do get a couple of pinks flashing by there we are going to get a purple condition wise it is going to be field test at low flow but again because these i think this is actually one of the cases where if you do get a good gold, it's insane value, but the reds are just not worth a crazy amount. Like both the Nightwish and the Starlight Protector are probably two of the cheaper reds on average. But honestly, hitting a red would be cool. What we don't want to do is we don't want to hit a Stat Track red, because Stat Track reds are rarer than a knife. So it would be a little bit painful if all that like RNG went on to like a, a field test at Stat Track Nightwish, for example, rather than a gold. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till we get to the last three keys here and then I'll do uh, quick opens for the last three and then we'll obtain some more keys. We do get another Stat Track skin, but it is going to be the Ensnared, which is, I, I mean, I feature a lot. It's one of the best budget skins in the game, but it's not worth that much money, even in Stat Track. So it's not really what we want from the pulls. We do get another purple. So that's our third purple. It's going to be another Zombie Offensive. This one is Factory New, which means for trade-ups at least, we've got something to work up. Uh, as we go to trade up into the pinks but the joys of case opens if you guys watched the souvenir package opening you would have seen another purple comma three that's nice is this also field tested it is 0 0.07 uh okay we got four more keys we'll do one more and then it's quick opens as you guys would have seen with the souvenirs video we got a we did a hundred of those and we got a panthera onka on the fourth case which is rarer than a knife we got another purple here okay is this one also field tested this is also field tested uh, okay that's a, a decent way of things let's hope it improves now we are going to do the three quick opens but as i said we got one case very early on that was very good and the rest sucks so there's always a chance that we go through like 90 of these sucking and then we get something insane but i'm going to do three quick opens now the first is going to be for is this the first lift of spirits this is the first lift of spirits i'm honestly surprised it took this long to get one they used to plague my dreams and nightmares case openings i'm going to get another one that's two in a row can we make it? Yeah, I really hope we can make it three in a row. If we get three left of spirits all on the quick opens. Okay. I was slightly surprised to see you guys pick the Dreams and Nightmares cases over the likes. I think it was like the Spectrums and the Gammas. Because they're slightly more expensive cases. That rather, like, we're going to do 50 of those rather than 100 of the Dreams and Nightmares. And I think like the likes of the Reds and the Pinks have a bit more value. But I guess the things with the Dreams and Nightmares is... There's butterfly knives in them, there's the lore, which I really like, and then obviously there's the Gamma Doppler, which is just an insane pull if you do manage to get it. We do get another purple, which is nice. I mean, it's it, it's definitely nicer than seeing blues, 
but we really need to start seeing pinks and potentially a red. And obviously, we're always hoping for the chance of a gold. It, we will have excitement and slight pain if that gold flashes up and I get another, like, just battle-scarred black laminate skin. Like, I know the odds of getting the butterfly are so low, but it's like, if you see the gold, you kind of just hope it's going to be at least, like, a middle tier item worth a couple hundred pound, rather than literally the cheapest knives in the game. Now, we're slightly onto the track of the blues again, and much like the Souvenir Kids video, I think if we get stuck in the case of um, opening maybe 50 blues in a row, you will probably see that sped rod in the edit, because I know that's not going to be the most entertaining for you guys across the board, and it's still going to be another boy, another stat track, so, I mean, it's worth a bit more because of the stat track, so we're not going to complain. We are going to get another purple, is this one... This one's going to be field tested. You can tell basically straight away it wasn't quite the same float level. The other ones were both quite low um, floats, I'm pretty sure, though, um, for the factory new, which had them looking pretty damn clean. Going to be a, another foresight. Okay, my prediction of um, my prediction of 85 blues might not happen if we keep getting purples at this rate, which I, I won't complain about. Maybe we need to change the background as well to open the cases on. Maybe that's what we do for the next batch. Maybe we change it to, like, Italy or something. Get that Italian good luck in. So I do like the, the new baggage um, format. It's kind of cool. It's got the forklifts and everything, but I might need something fresh. And much like before, when we get to the last three keys, I'll do quick opens for those. If Gabin could kindly give us a little bit of luck, this skin is cool, but it's a shame that it's a blue. The sea of blue is upon us. Possibly another purple. No, it stops too soon. Right, we have five more. So two normal opens and then three quick opens and it is going to be a continuation of the blues this is a fairly battered scroll yeah it's in battle scarred over eight float which is kind of nuts and then our last normal open before we dive in to some quick opens uh after this batch that'll be 40 of the 100 cases and so far wow that is really battle well, i was gonna say it's really battle scarred 0.62 Right, quick open time. We're going to do three quick opens. I'm trying to try not to glitch it, so I'm going to do them now. I don't know how much pain it would be if I quick open a knife, but okay, we got another purple. That one is definitely quite worn. And then the third and last quick open. It's going to be a, another stat track for you. Okay, we're get, continuing to get the stat tracks in. Okay, this is number 41 out of 100. We're close to the halfway mark. We do have a, a, a decent few purples in here. But still, we really need to start getting something a bit more. Even a pink. Uh, the thing is, these pinks, even in like field tests, are only worth like a pound, pound fifty, that kind of thing. So you are really banking on the reds and the golds here. Like some other cases, you can get some pinks. Like I think if you open like kilowatt cases right now, and you manage to hit a pink, like okay, you're looking pretty good in there. Or sorry, not even a pink, a purple. There's some good, good purples in there. And then if you do hit the pinks, then okay, you can still get like a black lotus, maybe twenty pound. Uh, the Zeus, 15 pounds, that kind of thing. Stat Track took it to hell. actually featured in the Stat Track video recently, and this one's minimal wear as well. Exactly pretty much the skin that featured in last week's Stat Track video. We see the odd pink here and there scroll by, but we've not even come close to hitting one yet. Come on, Gaben. Just, just give me a gold. It's going to be a lift of spirits. At least the Stat Track. I don't, actually, we, I know we've done some quick opens, so there may have been like a red technically go by in that one. Uh, but I've not seen a red in basically 50 cases so far. Not even seen one flash through. We've had a few pinks come through a, a, a few times, not landing on them. Baffles me then that Nightwish and Starlight Protector are this cheap when like you don't even see them. We do get another purple. This one's going to be Star Trek. It's actually a very nice piece of artwork on that skin. It's just such a shame. It's on an auto sniper, so basically never used. Another purple comes through. Also going to be Night Terror. That one is... That was minimal wear, surprisingly. It looked like it was going to be a higher flow. It looked like it had a bit more purple to it, but maybe that's my eyes deceiving me. And it's going to be another blue. I might throw in some quick opens before the end of this, before we hit key 60. We'll just do a couple now after this one. Okay, it's going to be a blue. How many keys do we have? Okay, we've got a few... Let's do some quick opening. Number one, going to be an Echo Junior. Quick opening number two. It's going to be a stat track night terror. Okay, another purple. So, like, the, I'd say the, the purple rate is kind of okay at the minute, but we just need something else as well, rather than just, like, endless blues. Uh, give me something that I can use in even a trade-up would be nice. Yo, AK Nightwish, quick open for the red. There we go. We did hit a red. Condition-wise... It actually looks pretty good in the preview. It's not stat track, which means we didn't get an item rarer than a knife. 
We're at the back here. But everyone else seems to be okay. It's minimal wear. What float is it? 0 0.08. So nice and low float on the minimal wear. If you were to sell it on the Steam market right now, it's about £25. So that's thanks. We've hit a red. You can't see it. My webcam's blocking it, but we have hit a red and we did it on a quick open so i'm going to quick open the last three here as well and then we'll get some more keys going it's, it's almost a shame that it came on the quick open and not a, a normal opening but it also adds that shock factor too but what i'm not shocked about is that we've gone straight straight back to seeing some blues right this is case i'm trying to think math wise this is case 61 that we're on to now so we are well over the halfway point. Oh my god. That's only it's only well worn. I know just in battle scar just about. So we're, we're over the halfway point. With that, just over the halfway point, we hit the red. Um so now it's basically a conversation of are we gonna get a gold or can we get a, a second red? Uh, if we get another red, we still realistically want it to be a night wish because it's more expensive than the, the night terror. I will say though, I think this is the first time I've unboxed a red. There's been a ball um, field tested. Every every red I've got before this, I think I've unboxed maybe three, maybe four reds before this, and they've all been like between field test and battle scarred. We are finally going to get a pink. I honestly baffled it took this long. This one's minimal wear stat track. That'll be handy for potential trade ups if I ever do stat track trade ups. If not, I can just sell it to um, to get more cases in the future. And then the spirits are not lifted as we return to the P2000. Now, I might just start sprinkling in quick ones. You never know. Uh, I might sprinkle a couple in here and there. We'll let this one roll. It is going to be a purple. It's going to be another stat track purple. So, I mean, again, stat tracks, that's something, right? And then we'll see what we get from a quick open. It's going to be another stat track. Two stat track PP Bisons. Are they both field tested? Both field tested back to back. We might we might have enough stat track purples. Oh, Starlight Protector at the start. Okay, so we, we, we at least... We just got a red and we've seen another red, okay? We, we, we've spotted two of them so far. Obviously, some quick ones in there where we didn't, we obviously didn't hit the red, but we didn't see if it was um, teasing us as it went by. Tell you what, it's a very good thing that the goals don't go by without you being able to hit them. I remember when I first got my gloves, I, I, like first gold I got in game was a pair of field-tested Imperial Blades, and I saw the gold go by, and the dial went so close to the end of the gold for half a second, I thought it was going to beat me. And like, I forgot that it doesn't beat you. Like, if you see gold, you're guaranteed gold. I forgot for a split second, and just had, like, excitement to gut-wrenching pain, and then realized, wait, no, I am getting the gloves. So I'm pretty sure we're over the 70 point now. We're approaching the 80 mark. We're getting a lot more of the blues coming through now. I'm uh, feeling another quick open in a minute. I'm feeling some quick opens to just eat through, you know. It's just still up. Can you imagine quick opening a knife? Oh, I've tabbed out a quick open the knife. No, I haven't. I start. I tabbed back in and started. Predictor went by, but we've got a pink. Okay, so that's our second pink. This one's non stat track. So one red, two pinks, a decent handful of purples, in all fairness. Uh, and then a shit ton of blues. Now, the quick open didn't work last time, so I think for that reason, we're going to have to scatter a couple in here, you know, just. Just a couple, just a oh, lift the spirits, you know. You never know. It's like the excitement. Like, am I gonna quick open it? Am I? Yeah, Nico Junior. Yeah, maybe, maybe we open these last three normally, and then we'll be on to the last twenty cases. Maybe in the future we need to go to those tables and check the. Oh, what foot was that? It's point six. Anytime I see something like heavily worn, I'm like, oh, is, is there a chance it's like a a triple nine float or something? And people are gonna want to overpay for it. You know, like a silver lining in getting the battle scar item. This one's not a silver lining, though. Pink! Pink, pink, pink! Nice! Okay, three pinks in total. This one's well-worn. Oh, that's not ideal price-wise. But three pinks and a red, okay? Uh, all in this last 20 batch. No, the Night Wish was before the last 20 batch. This batch of 20, we got three pinks from it. We got two Stat Track purples and another purple. And just before that, we got a red. So we're going to go on to the last 20 cases now. Now, at this point, we basically need a gold. So if Gaben could very nicely just give us that excitement of a gold flashing on the screen, um, ideally with a higher value knife rather than the lower value knife, it would be a win-win for us all, really. It's great for me. You guys enjoy it. Um, uh, it's a win for Gaben anyway. I'm playing the game. I'm opening cases. You get a, another purple, another zombie offensive. So, I mean, we've definitely got purple filler now when it comes to if we ever do trade ups in the pinks, which is kind of handy. Obviously, I can create more fodder with the purple or with the blues that we have too. 
But I must say, I think at this point, it's leaning towards the... We're probably not going to get a gold. If we're lucky, we might get another pink. And I think that would probably be about it. I feel like the... The CS case opening gods are not in the favor right now. Sprinkle one last quick opening. Yeah, it's going to be another spear report. A red just went by. But of course we didn't hit it. But again, at least we have seen one go by. I think it was a Starlight Protector. I only caught it by the corner of my eye. Especially when the reds were right at the start of the case. Okay, another purple. Another factory new purple. So again, if we're ever doing trade-ups in the pinks, this is actually super nice to have. And I might do trade-ups in the pinks, because then I get pinks that I like, can do into main trade-up fodder for you guys. Like, maybe try and do 10% of hitting, like, inheritances, fuel injectors, like, stuff like that. Even stepping into, like, trying to hit, like, an Onitaiji, a containment breach. Just loads of 10% chances. If I can build the fodder up for it, then that works wonders. So, at this point, we're on to the last 10 cases. This is case 91 of the 100 that we're opening today. Could you just imagine if it's the last case? Like, the, the, the script writing from, from Valve. Another Starlight Protector flashes by right at the start. It is going to be another purple. I thought it was Star Trek, but no, it's just a red bandana. So, I think we've definitely cleared. I said 85 blues. We've definitely cleared that. It must be closer to being, like, between 75 and 80 um, on the blues. So, it's beat my prediction so far. But still, outside of the Nightwish, it's not brought us too much to write home about. But... There is another purple sprinkle through there. Six more cases to go. I'm going to quick open this one. And then open the last five normally. So here we go. Last five cases of the dreams and nightmares. So, so far the ROI is, is limited to say the least. We are going to get another purple. It'll eke some value. It's a low full factor new. Again, good for the trade-outs. But I'd say, like, overall, uh, I mean, CS case ROI on average. Another Starlight Protector at the start. You're kind of lucky if you get 50%. I'd say right now we're probably between the 20 and the 30% mark. And we've got three cases left. So it's going to take like a, a factory new stat track Nightwish or a knife, basically. That's what we need to have any hopes here. And there's only two more cases to do it. So. I thought being dramatic might help. Okay. Um, it is basically the Nightwish so far. And then we have one key left come on given please just the gold it's going to be an ensnared to finish it off so we have a absolute ton of blues i'm just going to go through quickly and count like how many purples we got and how many pinks obviously we have one red which you can see here where it is the night wish it is minimal wear i've actually got well i own wait did i unbox the melodramas i know i own the Starlight Protector already, but I think we actually unboxed everything from this except for a gold and the Starlight Protector because I owned it already. I think everything else we unboxed. Maybe not the Melon Dramas. Maybe I had those already. But yeah, the big bull here is the Nightwish um, 0.08 Minware float. Uh, say about £25. In regards to purples, so we actually got 23 or 24 purples and four of them, I think, maybe five of them are in Star Trek. So overall, that's much better than I, I thought coming into it. And then I think in regards to pings, it's three, right? We got two pharmacies and then we got a um an MB7 Abyssal apparition. So not overall ideal, but that's gonna round off the video for today. If you guys have any name tag ideas for the AK47 Nightwish, let let me know down in the comments below. If there's a good one in there, I might use it. So thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you guys for voting as well for which cases we're gonna open. Unfortunately we didn't get a gold this time, but we can always go again like next time and see what we get. So make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Hit, hit the subscribe button when you're out here and leave a comment down below of which case you want to see next and any name tag suggestions you have for this AK-47 Nightwish. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Good. Bye.